Hi guys. All right. Today on part 11 of game foul strains, we're going to be doing the Macintosh Max, Giant White Doms, American Flags, and the Fanny Carters. All right. Let's get into it. All right. The Macintosh Max. Okay. Here we go. Were originated by H.R. McIntosh of North Carolina. They are said to carry 26 to 32 bacon warhorse blood with a slight infusion of B. Martin, English Dom, Roundhead, and Claiborne. The cocks come mostly dark reds to solid blacks with an occasional gray, have red eyes and yellow to willow legs. Hens are mostly buff. I've actually heard of these a few times. I've never seen any. I mean, it'd be interesting if somebody had some that they show a picture or something. It'd be interesting to see. But you know, other than breeds uh, look different over time. I mean, this, this is probably from the early 1920s, 30s, this book was made. So a lot of these guys are dead by now. So. Yeah, there, I don't think there's anybody in this thing that still has anything, but uh, yeah, they're long gone, so. All right, Giant White Doms. This is a large strain that was originated by George Hathaway of Independence, Iowa in 1920. Two Dom hands, he bred a buff colored cock that was 5'8 and 3'8 jet and weight 8 to 8'8. Eight eight. Oh, that's a big bird. The cocks come white with a few dom feathers throughout the body, have yellow legs and red eyes, both straight and peak comb. They come about 80% shakes and are said to be very fast for large birds. You know, now a shake is uh, what it used to be any bird over six pounds was considered a shake. All right, the American flags. They were originated by T.M. Brian Canelton, Indi of Canelton, Indiana, about 1903. They are a combination of the Dad Gleason Irish, Arkansas Traveler, Baltimore Top Knot, Bacon War, Sid Taylor, and Huber Blues. They come blue reds, dark reds, and blacks. Cocks are medium station and run in weight from 4 8 to 6 pounds. They have Proven very satisfactory pit fowl in, in both long and short heels. Yeah, that's, I haven't heard of that uh, bloodline. I, I've been getting game fowl books from the, since the early 90s, and uh, I haven't seen any advertised. I got a few from the 60s, but I haven't seen any uh, advertisements for the American flags. So. I suppose that breed went out of existence. Probably something wrong with that bloodline, but where to different. And a lot of these guys ain't gonna tell you what's really in their birds anyway. This is just for fun, you know. So anyway, here we go. The Fanny Carters were the pure bacon war horses as bred by James Clark. They were raised for Mr. Clark by a lady by the name of Fanny Carter, hence the name. Typical war horses, for further information, see the war horse sketch. Yeah, I probably should have a look for me. Uh, they're pretty much just a war horse, is all they are. They've got the name from the lady that raised them. But, uh, thank you. Uh, I'll get to the war horse. I might already did one on them, I'm not sure. That's great. But anyway, guys, uh, I got my, I joined the UGBA uh, for this year again. I'm, I'm pretty, you know, they got, uh, they got, uh, you know, a nice little pamphlet. I, uh, I like to see this. I know a few years back in early 2000, they had a nice uh, brochure that was like getting another uh, Gamecock magazine, but it was like the old feathered warrior that thick, you know. But yeah, it's join them UGBAs, guys. 
I just can't say that right for some reason. UGBAs. Join your state or whatever. I think it's like for the state, I think it's 20. I think the national is 40 now, but I mean, it's worth it. I mean, if you don't want to, if you don't want to, you know, get out there yourself, at least give them money so they can do what they got to do for you, you know. And that's the thing. A lot of these guys, especially, you know, there's a site, you know, they, uh, you know, I think you guys probably know what I'm talking about. They're over in the Philippines and they, they just run down the, the one guy, he just runs down the, UGBA every chance he gets. Well, you know, if you move to the Philippines, worry about what you got going on over in the Philippines. Don't be worrying about what we got going on over here, you know. We don't stick our nose into your stuff. I mean, you are American and you decided to go over to the Philippines because you thought that was better. Well, let's see. Well, your birds probably won't do any better over there. I mean, they probably go downhill drastically and everything, but that's the way you want to do it. Each his own. Do what you got to do, but don't be running down what everybody else is doing, you know. But, uh, you know, it's, it's an uphill battle. But look at look where, like some guy said on the thing, one of the comments, he said, well, look where marijuana was. And I agree with that. I mean, that's... I mean, and the difference in the, this, what that other guy, you know, I ain't gonna get into it, that's a different time, I guess, but uh, if he wants people to go on there and debate him, well, he'd probably have a heart attack, is what he'd do, and then he'd die, and then, <laughs> how, how bad would you feel if you go on the show to debate the guy, and get him so pissed off, he freaking keels over on you, you know, I don't know, wish him the best, but I mean, that's, uh, don't run down things, I mean, pretty much fled to the Philippines, you know. He didn't want to stay and fight with the rest of us, but, uh, you know, get laws changed. But, you know, do what you got to do, I guess. Just don't be running down places, you know, people, organizations, if you ain't going to help out. But, yeah, join your state affiliates, guys. I mean, that uh, helps us all. They got a convention and... Uh, Ashland, Kentucky on the 12th and the 13th. So, yeah. Show up. Show them some support. I guess they waived uh, the entrance uh, thing for it. It was $20. I guess now they'll just, uh, they waive that. So now you just got to buy a shirt to get in there. That's good. And this is uh, August 12th, 13th. So, yeah. And this is July that, you know, when this is coming out. So, my. That just makes me mad, guys, when people uh, run down organizations when they're not even in the country anymore. You know, they left, but they're going to, I don't know what happened to the guy who got run out of the UGBA, so now he's got a bad bone to pick because he was in it and he wasn't getting anything done, so they probably booted him out. Now he's got a axe to grind and whatever, you know. Just, uh... Well, I found this interesting, guys. I don't know if I showed you this, but on this uh, thing, it's got a picture of George Washington, and it says, uh, born in Virginia, 1732, an American general, the first president of the United States, 1789-1797, a breeder, and fought a strain of Irish gray cocks at Mount Vernon. Yeah, him and uh, there was other ones, two presidents. I'd like to do a little more research on it, because I ain't going to say, you know, that this guy, president did that, and this one did this, but, uh, do a little more. And I, uh, sorry about the state laws thing. I know I was supposed to cut into that, and I will, but, uh, I'm looking at my toys I got up here again in my room here, so sorry about that. If I look up here, and, uh, I'm just looking at things. <laughs> but, uh, I'm hoping to get a microphone for this phone. I don't know if my, I think I pretty much got a shout, uh, but uh, get anything through. But anyway, uh, I'm going to come up with something. Probably, I'm going to try to do one a day, guys. It's hard, but keep it. But if you like what I'm doing, like and subscribe and 
And if you don't like what I, I'm doing, just tell me to go F myself in the comments below. I mean, I don't care. I got thick skin. I can take it. I'm not going to get in an argument with you. Your opinion's your opinion. If you think I'm an asshole, then you think I'm an asshole. I really don't care. You know, but bad comments help with the algorithms too. So do what you got to do. You know, if the sight of my face angers you, then just say it. I don't care. My voice, I, I don't like the sound of my own voice when I hear it back on a tape, so I, I don't uh, blame you if it, you know, causes you to get enraged or whatever, you know. Some people's voices will just have that effect on a person, you know, where, it just, where they just want to, it's like a, dragging nails down a chalkboard, you know, it just digs into your brain, but anyhow, I hope everybody's doing good and Keeps doing good and, you know, stay healthy. Keep your eye on the sky and uh, take care. Be safe out there, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.